Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 and more Nick crashing into everybody. When I say crashing into everybody in the last episode, everybody crashed into me. This guy's trying to bully. You moron! Today we're gonna start off by jumping into some GT7 daily races, seeing how they go, and then let's just say over the past couple of episodes I've been spending a whole bunch of money, so today I also want to show you one of my favorite ways of making a whole bunch of money in GT7 super quickly. So we've got three daily races, race A, B, and C. I kind of like the idea of ripping it around the Red Bull ring. What is the best car this week? It is a Subaru WR. 573 horsepower, 2,900 pounds. Obviously, I've driven around the Red Bull ring a whole bunch before. No apologize. Okay, bye. As I was saying, welcome to the Red Bull Ring. I've driven around this circuit a whole bunch, so hopefully we can have a good race today. We've got to start things off with a good qualifying. Lol, JK. <laughs> 131 dead. Wait, is that my new personal best? That's my new personal best. I was so close to a 130. We qualified out in P3. No way. This is going to be pretty tough to catch up. If I can hold P3 and get on the podium, though, that'd be pretty nice. We're going to cross fingers. We have no head gasket issues and... Away we go, Subaru STI. We got to catch up to everybody. Like I said, I want to play it safe out here. I don't want to get any unnecessary penalties. And I, I don't want to get in any car crashes like that. Uh, like that. That allows me to catch right the way back up. Hello, lads. I didn't think I would actually be battling with the guy for P1, but I've got a massive slipstream. And I will send it up the... He just got punted. I think you can see what I mean when I say... I want to have a clean race because this is about to be sketchy guy in P1 just ruined his race. He gone. He gone. It's a 1v1 now. Keep up with this guy. Yep, the guy in P1, he rage quitted the race. So he's gone so We need some big old slipstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to break the slipstream. No, sir, you will not break the slipstream on me. This is a long race. It is a 12 lap race. We've got loads of time. I was kind of expecting this guy to just be pulling away. At every single moment, we might have got him. We got him with a little bit of bump lags. I think we got him. We got him. That's P1. That's P1 from a little Subaru. We just got the fastest lap of the race. This is crazy. Whoa, what a send. Okay, Daniel Ricardo. Slipstream. Lovely. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Going up the inside. Thank you very much. Fastest lap, 131.1. Beautiful. Break early. We're going to block the inside, block the switchback, force him wide. He was able to do the switchback because I decided to be Ken Block. I don't actually want the outside here. I'm going to see if I can force my way up the inside. He might try to block. I'm going to go for it anyways. Nope, sit in the slipstream. Who needs Max versus Lewis? When you've got Nicky Poo versus NZO. <laughs> wide. No! Don't give me a penalty. Please don't give me a penalty for that. That wide is usually okay. No! Okay, I need to send it. Um, problem? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. All things considered, that was my first race in this car on this circuit. And I finished up in P2 against some very good people. Other than my Sebastian Vettel impression, I would say that was actually a pretty decent race. If you thought that was depression. Oh, you're in for a treat. Here we go. I don't even need to look at it. Watch, watch, watch. Okay. So we're going to have uh, a, a small bunch of coins, a big bunch of coins, two cars and maybe a car part. I'm going to get the smallest bunch of coins. Did I? <laughs> I got it perfectly. <laughs> the fact that you can do that is kind of sad. You know what? I also want to try this out quickly. Daily race A. I think this is also in a Subaru. Yes, it is. Subaru WRX GRB rally car. I might not be going particularly fast. But boy, I look good while I'm doing my lap. I guess I'm on rally tires, right? One thing I'm... I think I'm finding out is that these tires grip way better on the grass so I can almost 
cut the corner a little bit and put two tires off and get way better grip. 50.0, that's a new PB. This thing is sick. It's such a ridiculous car, but it's awesome to drive. Kind of. <laughs> Wait, I'm driver rating C? I got a new driver rating! P1 all the way to P5 is within a second? 10 laps of this circuit, it's a standing start. Oh shit. Okay, go. And away we go. I don't know how to launch a WRC car. I'm in the wrong view. Oh my god, everything's wrong. Everything's wrong. Okay, play it nice and safe. Nice and safe. Nothing crazy. I'm running wide, running wide, running wide. Yep, no, that, that was not a good start. Anyways, let's see if I can get this guy. I don't know how anybody else is gonna handle this. I haven't seen any ghosts or anything, apparently. All right, so, um, this is apparently how you're supposed to do it, but now I've got a penalty. What the? This is literally just a race for trolls. No way. Maybe putting in a faster lap wasn't the best idea because now I got put in a lobby with a bunch of sweats. Like we saw, anything can happen in these races. So I basically just got to send it and hope. And away we go for race number two, guy in P1. Very poor start. Can we send it around the outside? We might be able to, we can. Audi Quattro being as wide as he can be. Guy up the inside punting us wide. And a Subaru goes past, GG. Look at this Audi. This Audi is wiggling all over the circuit. Jeez, keep it in third, guy up my inside. Guy, you can't just send it up the inside and push people wide all the time. That's not how racing works, but I'm gonna do it back to you because you did it to me. Same thing nearly happened to the Audi in P1. This is a very close race, this is crazy. Wow, this Audi's good. This Audi is so smooth. Kind of leaves the door open though, my guy. Okay, we're P1. We are P1. Come on. I'm going to block the inside. What I've realized is you literally just need to sit on the on the inside for people not to go past. because, Or else they'll just bully you. Kind of like that. I guess this is kind of rally cross, is it not? So I guess you're kind of allowed to bump doors with other people, I guess. This is literally just bully whoever's in front of you and hope that you don't get a penalty. I've got a one second lead right now. We've just got to hold this 1.7 seconds. Run. I'm still trying to cover off the inside. You can see what I mean. I'm so scared of somebody just, well, sending it up the inside there. I touched the grass. That was sketchy. Slow and steady is definitely the way through this race. For sure. We are doing nice 3.1 seconds. This is good. Fastest lap of the race. 3.5 seconds. This is looking good for the mighty blue Subaru. Final lap of the race. Bring it home, Subaru. Give him a little cheeky handbrake. We got it. P1. My first victory in GT7 online. Victory. How much money do you get for a win? All right, I'm gonna show you how you can actually get some money in this game doing a really fun race. I'm not gonna claim this is the best money-making method because it's probably not, but it is a really fun way to do it. And I wanted to drive this. This is the Roadster Shop Rampage. It is a beautiful vehicle based off an old Camaro from back in the day. This particular one, I've actually gone in and I've tuned it to have 700 PP. This one. How hard is this going to be? I am about to burn burn up my tires. I'm about to use all of my fuel. I've got to go to lean fuel right away. Lean, no, lean fuel, lean fuel, lean. Thank you. Okay, now go, 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 go. Traction control, keep that turned on. I don't want any unnecessary. That's not off-putting at all. The really nice thing about this rampage is it's not so great in the corners, but to make up for that, it is, it is scary in a straight line. That's where we're gonna make a lot of our overtakes up. So let's just go around the AI and um, we're, we're gonna say see you later. Oh, uh, problem. That's okay. If I can get past the AI cleanly, that's probably worth it. We've got a 3.5 second penalty. We are nine seconds behind the guy in P1. But 
boy are we gaining quickly okay slam on the brakes early let's not run that wide this time you'd imagine this car would just be trying to go sideways in every single corner but it's way nicer to drive than you might expect. Here we go, reel in the Aston Martin. See you later, buddy. Wipe that penalty off, thank you very much. That was a huge penalty. Oh my God, that's a big penalty. Okay, now we gotta go. No more cutting the corners to overtake the AI. AI. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a couple of pit stops in this race. We've got 1.8 laps of fuel remaining. So we're gonna have to pit at the end of the next lap so I can use some more fuel. Actually, I'll use some fuel on the straight. That'll be a good good strategy. I really don't know how often the AI is going to have to pit. Hopefully, it's a similar-ish strategy to me. I can only hope. There's the rain. We're pitting at a perfect time. When we go into the pits, are we putting on wet weather tires? Weather radar looks really sketchy coming at us. Into the pits we go. I'm going to go intermediate tires. I've got I've to risk it and fill it all the way up, please. Have I made a mistake? We don't know. <laughs> That's such a cool looking car. I love that. Okay, fill it up. Come on. Come on. Fill it up with fuel, please. Oh my God, this is so slow. I better be able to overtake everybody. I've got, I've got brand new tires. Let's go. This weather it coming up looks very, very sketchy. The longer the track stays wet, the better it is for us because that's gonna spook the AI. I think the AI are gonna jump on intermediate tires as well. Anyways, I'm 39 seconds behind the guys in first. We need more rain, please. 36 seconds to first, we are gaining still. AI is putting their indicator on and heading into the pits except for the Lambo? What? And the AI in first just put soft tires on? Wait, double what? Those guys just came out of the pit lane, so we did lose a little bit of time. Oh, that sucks. I think when I go into the pits at the end of this lap, I'm gonna need to get some dry weather tires because it looks like everything is drying out now. I'm luckily so much faster than everybody still, but I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. I think my big burbly V8 boy isn't really the best for, you know, fuel efficiency. We've got 14 minutes left of this race. I don't know if I'm in a good place to win. Are you kidding me? Did the AI actually just punt me? How many days is it gonna take my character to drive down the pit lane? That's my question. Yeah, I need racing heart, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. Yep, don't worry, this is just taking 15 seconds to get down the pit lane. 25 seconds and my car is not in sight. 30 seconds, I can't see anything. 33 seconds to get to my pit box. Also, why couldn't we refuel while we did our tires? I'm a minute behind the AI now. That's a joke. Not to mention, there is no way I'm gonna get a clean race bonus because of what that Lambo did. There's no way. Long story short, I had to fight my way through all of the AI again, passing everybody on the streets. But this time I had a problem because I needed to save as much fuel as I could. And as you'll notice, there was a little problem. 5% fuel. I think I'm gonna make it. I've got 0.1 laps. Breaking coast through all of this. 4% fuel. We're gonna do it. I mean, I didn't do it. I didn't get the win, but damn, that was close. I'm gonna say, if the AI doesn't punt you, you have a really good chance of winning that race. And if you do a little bit of a better pit stop strategy than me and save some of your fuel and don't drive like a knob. But that got me 330,000 credits. So I guess moral of the story is don't drive like Nick unless you're driving a Subaru.